Hendricks now on the tee at 13. The man who just made birdie at 12 to pull within two of Mickelson. Louis Ustazen. The right side of the beach club. Oh boy. Uh oh, giving up oh on man. it. It's oh, done it again. It's that same miss. Oh, no, it definitely crossed. That's the miss we saw in New Orleans in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. We saw it 10 today, which uh, foreshadowed this one as well. We discussed it there. Mm. He had a flare like that on Thursday at 17 that uh, found the water, led to a double. You now, where is he going to play the next one? Yeah, you're right. That's because they walk all the way back to that tee, and there's a cross water all the way. So, uh, not sure if that has crossed anywhere. Hope all these circles aren't distracting him. Yeah. Close your eyes. Oh my God. Uh oh, That's he's done it too. He's he's hooked. Snap. Two in a row. Yeah. Oh, there it is. God, the fear close. of the right side, Nick. You yeah. called it. Yeah. Oh, man, that is Well, he got away with it. I'm not so sure it crossed up, no, up anywhere really close. Cross. But they might be re-teeing. I don't know if it crossed over. I don't know if he went on. Dotty and them, if they, from that angle, just how far it went in there. God, I think hooked so much, but it flew a little further than I thought it was going to, so I'm not sure. In line with the pin, it's only 190. Yeah. Well, when, do we have God, a do we have a blimp shop? We have a watch from up above. Okay. Well, that's no, that's water. Uh, no, that's water all the way, Phil. Isn't it? So hard to tell by these angles. Be truthful. I mean, the cameras to yeah. the. Far left side of the green, he just maybe this will help clarify a little bit. Well, it, it it might got close to grass, but it looked like it was still on the right hand side of the red line. You know, the you there that little corner, but it I could have been. That's the one point. That yeah, little tiny 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 peninsula. The it's not close to the red line. I believe, unfortunately, that they're, they're doing the right thing. Uh, I don't think it did. Give me another one. Yeah, yeah. he's just yeah. going to go ahead and accept it. So the, so the shot is that aim at that right, that left-hand bunker, it's about 290 to it, so they can cut it against the breeze and just put it. It's not the ideal spot, but it's safe. That's This This 12 and 13 are going to be really brutal and pivotal this weekend. That one swing brought a lot more people back into this sure championship. Did. This whole championship just got wide open. Well, it was the same swing on the... The hole before, but it hit the bunker to stop it from going further right. Yeah. That's the one he wanted. Yeah, aim down the left edge and just turn the slight draw. Yeah, beautiful. See, there it is. That's the exact strategy. Right, Larry, let's bring you in here for a little discussion about you know where Phil just. Reteed it where Louis is going to be playing his third. Well, obviously, Phil felt the ball never crossed the red line up towards the fairway, so he didn't really have any choice but to play under stroke and distance. And as soon as Louis went into the penalty area, you know, Phil said it crossed up there, so he had a pretty good view on it. Okay. So Louis is going to be able to play under the uh, red penalty area rule. Hey, Blakey here from Golf Rules Questions. So we see with Louis and Phil. Uh, they both hit their ball into the water there on 13 during round three of the PGA Championship. And they were trying to work out where uh, the, the point on the last edge crossed. So it was a red penalty area with Phil hitting sort of a duck hook, a uh, rope hook. Uh, they didn't feel that it actually crossed across the red penalty area uh, with Louis hitting a sort of a splurge out, uh, blocky slice. Uh, they believed that it had crossed the area and Louis was able to take a one stroke penalty up at uh, within that two club links of that la that point on the last edge crossed and we see after he took his drop he got the referee in just talking about the sprinkler head that was interfering the immovable obstruction that was interfering with his uh, stance 
So they took the relief from the penalty area, that was the, the penalty relief, and then he was able to get free relief from the immovable structure that he was standing on. So two different sorts of relief there. And you know, he his ball was in the, the rough, um, and then he was able to drop into the fairway. Uh, that's because the general area includes rough and fairway. They don't differentiate between rough and fairway for those kinds of drops under rule 16.1. So uh, yeah, just to reiterate there, Phil didn't think his ball would cross, so he hit another one uh, off the tee uh, under that lateral, uh, under that red penalty area option, uh, stroke and distance, uh, whereas they believed Louis' ball had crossed. And you know, it's an estimate and understanding of the players and the facts that they have in front of them as to whether the ball is crossed or not. Uh, the field, both players nine, believe they had crossed. So that's why Louis was able to take the drop off the up tee. there near the fairway. Walking from green to tee through all the sandy areas and all the planks and everything, it doesn't want to take a, make a full step anywhere. We need to get the ball, we need to get the ball in play from the penalty yeah, area for drop it too. And then we'll see what you have with the, the obstruction. Steve Rintoul, long time PGA Tour official and a great one. Observing on that one. I think that is 182 points to be on that team. 182 points to be on that team. And down. All right, Dottie, Louis playing his third. It's 218 yards. Anything down the left-hand side of the green. <laughs> this is a beautiful goal shot. That is really impressive. <laughs> cannot miss the green left. You would cannot get, you can see by the slope, you would not get up and see threaded that down that left edge perfectly.